We have a mission, Secrets Revealed. Yeah. Uh, in this mission, young Kraken must defeat the Necromancers to win the scenario. However, if all the heroes defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Yogg and Kragak are limited to level 33, but will carry their experience, skills, and spells onto the next scenario. So, we have the presence of Necromancers in Rafia is much stronger than you first anticipated. It's apparent you can't win the, the battle alone. Uh, so, you seek help. Your choice of an ally was obvious, but Kragak wasn't easy to find. It took even longer to convince him that these spellcasters had to be stopped. In the end, it was Kragak's unquenchable desire to smash him dead that convinced him. Really, he didn't seem like that willing to smash him dead in the first campaign. If, it, if, it, if anything, it was like, ugh, I'm dead again, you know? Anyway, I guess maybe after Sandro's ploy, he became a little bit more resentful towards the undead. Uh, that would make some sense. So, let's go! We have, uh, of course, we go rolling on impossible difficulty. Uh, and uh, we can start with 6k gold, 15 crystal, and boost polarity. Uh, running on impossible difficulty, getting myself off the ground is usually the hardest thing. Uh, with that in mind, 6,000 gold seems like it's gonna be, you know, pretty efficient in getting me going. So, let's go. We two barbarians hey. are glad to have found each other in this land of strangers. Both of us are following the trail of the necromancers. But I am shocked that their actions seem to have gone unnoticed by Arathian leaders. Crag was not interested in investigating my concern further until I mentioned his glorious battle. That always works with barbarians like him. Yeah, glorious battle. Of course it works. What do you mean? That's the only thing that matters. Uh, let's go. It took me a little while to find Kragak and to convince him to join me. Now he's very enthusiastic about kicking some serious necromancer butt. Well, more about bone, but... Uh, while we can, he told me the story about how a wizard named Sando tricked them into giving up four artifacts without getting paid. I've never heard of this wizard, but will keep an eye for anyone fitting his description. Alright. Uh, there's no Sandro in this campaign, is there? There's Nimbus and Esclavius. I have to beat, like, every single Necromancer. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're not gonna be doing that. Is this, like, the crack? Uh, are, are these the heroes that I kept from, like, the last campaign? Yeah, they're exactly like the, the ones that I kept. Uh, so we have the Kragak and we have the Yogg. Uh, the Yogg, both of them... Wait, no, he doesn't have Express Slow. That's kind of weird. There's quite a bit of army here and quite a bit of army here. Uh, more range army for... Kraguhaku, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. Uh, oh, you look, they're actually tag teaming already. Uh, because, uh, you know, Kragak is gonna be providing the ore and Yogg is gonna be providing the wood rather than both of them having some of each. Okay. I like that. That immediately, like, uh, inspires stack teaming, basically. We also have resource silos. Wow. Silos of the resource. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not really sure how this uh, campaign will go. Anyway, uh, Kragak really could benefit from Ballista. He will be able to do, like, so much with that. Uh, we also have Tam Portal, so we can actually, like, uh, trade army immediately into the game. I think I'll do that. I'll pick and choose my army and the way that we share it with the uh, other guy. Uh, there's also, wait, there's no Ballista. I mean, no, no Blacksmith in either of the towns. Uh, the heroes are Tyraxor and Jasper. I will definitely want some of the heroes here, for sure. Uh, lots of Vampire Lords. Kraga could actually immediately invade if he were to have a Ballista. Hey, Mamba Hmm. Welcome. Hey, Dios Pumpkins. And we'll go board everyone coming in. Enjoy Gen Teal. So right now I probably want the, the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the Raxa out. And honestly, I might want to get the blacksmith, but I'm not really sure if I'll do uh, if I'll end up doing that. So Yogg is gonna be the economy guy. Meanwhile, Kragak is gonna be the offensive guy. I mean, yeah, Kragak being the offensive guy makes way more sense. Um, he has archer and artillery. So, what I want to do is I probably want to get, like, the range army, more so on the crack hack. Um, you know, he's the offense specialist, but that makes sense, especially combined with the Ballista deal. Uh, which I will... Oh, it's an ammo card. Oh, you know the Ballista, yeah. Oh. Well. Well. Oh, well. Uh, I think this is gonna be the, uh, the army distribution. And I will collect some ore too. So let's go with that. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I knew. I just. I don't know why I forgot for like a moment. Anyhow. 
That looks like... Oh, Swarm. Uh, that looks like it would be a lot of gold. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Wait, this will probably let me bush like so early on. Way earlier than I would have originally anticipated. Oh, I mean, uh, we have like more of this army over here. So Yogg's gonna be able to like uh, kick some behind as well. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Uh, we immediately run into like a really big fight. All right. I really would like. I would really hate to lose the start that I got with the uh, uh, with the big join of army that I ended up getting. Bolo music is so beautiful. Hell yeah, it is. It's very, very nice. So we're gonna be killing the free stacks uh, south immediately. Which are gonna be like slightly hurtful, but whatever. Mm, sure. Oh, it died to the, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's a really good wall. Uh, we're looting this fight, basically. Uh, more or less unfortunate, but honestly, all, all in all, it's a pretty decent fight. I have crystals immediately, and I have access to a trinity post here, but I don't think I'll use it that much at all. Now, the reason I delayed my other things is because I was thinking if I can get the Orc Tower on immediately or not. And the answer is actually not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. By the way, we have a, a multiple Behemoth Crags. I probably want to flag those. Uh, but in current uh, Yogg's army, it would be kind of a stretch to be able to do so. It will really depend on what the guards are for those as well. Ooh, Pack of Ancient Behemoths. Uh, actually, Crag actually did that. Crack, I can immediately do this. There's also like a bunch of border gates that I will have to get past uh, eventually in order to be able to go aggressive as well. I can almost take the Necromancer down immediately, but I'm not sure what's uh, the point of that. I'm pretty sure there's actually no point, I guess. Oh my god. Wow! Okay, Kragak has a... I mean, honestly, why would any stronghold creature ever not follow Kragak? Okay? To the death and beyond. For glory. Let's go. <laughs> More proling? Hey, Christopher. No, no, no. Uh, we can immediately expert slow, then we have like plenty of damage to beat those down. Uh, before they can do much. Uh, oops. But no problem. Kazini! Oh yeah, we can have Kazini. Uh, five minutes to bet away. Uh, feel free. We immediately have like pretty decent gold, pretty decent resources and everything. Honestly, it's like an amazing start so far. Uh, the only problem is that Yogg is actually not that strong. I don't know, did I actually not make him strong at all? He doesn't feel strong at all. I mean, no expert slow and... Honestly, it's like the limited army that I gave him as well for sure. I even not expect the uh, resurrection on this um, on this other hero. It's kind of amazing. I should shoot here because the wolfie can handle the north one, but it cannot handle the south one. And if I did it so fast, it ended up hurting me quite a bit. But it's okay, I guess. I want the Caitlyn. I want to pick up the army and then probably go south. There's another ore mine that I can collect and so on. Not to mention, maybe grabbing some more army for Krakak is gotta be decent. Nah, uh, he doesn't really need it. Wait, doesn't he? Uh, another bad part is that I cannot really get past the Cyclops over here. Like, easily at all. Or maybe... No, I should be able to get past them. Uh, the biggest reason to get past them would be to grab myself a Ballista Yard and get the Krakak Ballista for the Pack of Ancient Behemoth fight. Uh, then also I will try to double build Behemoths on week 1, so I can go like really aggressive, you know? Not like, just slightly aggressive. So yeah, then what I'll do is on next turn I can get the Raxxer to pick up the Ballista, get it over to my Yogg, and then Yogg can possibly push past the uh, Cyclops over here. I think I will be able to do so. 
Uh, so yeah, 1760, then I can get up to like here, then I can grab this gold mine, I can go past the Orcs too, grab the army on Caitlyn, get it over to Kraghack, and then Kraghack can do everything with the Ballista. Now, I could have built it up here too, but that would take like an extra hero and two more turns. Uh, in this kind of way, I don't really need anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, here we, here we go. Already there's some presence of necromancers. Um, naturally so. Uh, I can also grab a little bit more meat. And of course, we can... Wait, no. I don't need an ammo another ammo card. I ended up getting a ballista yard. No. No. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, got it. Um, slight them chain, but uh, not to the point that I wouldn't be able to make what I wanted to do anyway. Why do you fight Sandra in order to preserve all that is good in the world? Don't play us uh, play campaign first and then multiplayer. You play multiplayer first and then breeze with the campaign, GG, easy clap. I did play for the campaign initially as well, but I don't even remember. So, uh, yeah, we're doing it now. Mm, actually, here. That's like the only stack that I can reach. Um, this is getting hasted. Um, most of the, uh, both the one stacks are also blocking. Uh, speed summon, but they're also speed summon. BDZ are speed six. So, uh, yeah, you're getting hasted. And they're going over there. But it's like, not so good. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> Who's this sick person? Haven't seen this guy forever. Thank you, God Sophia. And yeah, sick person is back. Hog. I appreciate that. That's gonna be one guy that's shitting, right? Man, that's kind of okay. Okay, we can't go by this point. It's no problem. I can pick up the extra wolf puppers. Uh, I need some gold income too. I'm not really sure my, where my gold is going to be coming from. I mean, I get to two gold mines, the Naga Bank, and I have pretty decent gold income. I most definitely want to double build uh, them on this week as well, already. Okay, actually I'm pretty fine with that. I just want to make sure that my chain works out. Then we'll be able to like, uh, share me like a little bit better after I'm done with some of these. For example, like, crack- Y'all can hold on to Behemoths. He seems like he kind of needs them. More so than Kraga. Kraga is just kind of a baller. Actually, I would like to accept that auto, but I realize I'm in shadow death if I were to try and Q enter the same auto result. It wouldn't really work out. As I learned the hard way. Yum. Yeah. Wait, I don't have a spot. Oops. I don't exactly want to delete anything. I guess I'll put away the uh, orcs for now. I mean, the Ogra. Uh, buy a behemoth, and then, yeah, we go for danger behemoths immediately. Now, you might be thinking, this is like a pretty tough fight to do this early on into the game, but Kragex says, Ha ha! Do you even know who I am? <laughs> no join. I wouldn't expect this to join. It'd be, uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, easy. Uh, 2, 4, 1, 2, 7, 7. So both those are pretty high HP still. Uh, this one shots. Easy. Uh, one shots easy. Uh, yep. Yeah, I barely lost. Wait, actually I should have read the... Uh, There's probably something decent written there. Oops. So no hero has to like come back here, I'll just pick everything up on Krakai. That is gonna be like in that direction. I don't really care about the Shrine of Magic Mystery though. Mm-hmm. So by this point I flagged both of my Behemoth Krags. There's gonna be like another another crystal cavern that I'm very interested in having. Um now Krakak is definitely going like massive aggro towards the AI. I'm gonna be doing it through Magic Spring, I guess, and then probably into the AI Magi over there. And then, you know, into the Necroland we go. I'll be able to, like, TP around with Kraghack in order to, like, get back and everything like that. Uh, so yeah. Make sure to have a really glory. What is even the point of playing the campaign without the story, Paga? Dude, like... 
item dialogue is not exactly the story, especially when it's not like exactly connected. Okay. Anyway, my bad. I wanted to read that to you. Uh, so wait, if Kragak is going here, then Yogg should be going somewhere else. I need to like distribute the army by now, for sure. Bye! Yogurt will be going somewhere. Not really sure when or how or why. So, Yogg can use the, uh, these and these. No, actually, it makes more sense for Yogg to use the faster ones because he doesn't have slow in, in order to, well, yeah, in order to have it easier. But then, this is what Kraghack's army looks like. It doesn't feel too good. I probably want these on him as well. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, what we'll, uh, this is what we'll use. Then, uh, him getting mana is gonna be of a most priority. By the way, let's, like, uh, gain understanding of the map. There's an AI starting here and an AI starting here. Then they can connect onto a necro, uh, necro city on the sides. That I may or may not be able to snatch earlier than they do, even. By the way, mana is not that important for y'all, so I'm just gonna, like, leave and do some of the mines already. Uh, there's Cyclops dwellings. They're kinda good, but kinda meh. Hmm. I wanna be hit here. There we go. Oh, it seems like this is like a passage to the AI as well, probably. Um, alright. Get hit by one. Assassinate the two other. Easy. Of course, we pick this up, and yeah, now we can go over to more crystals, which will allow me to double build Behemoth on week one, and so on. Hey, madness! Skull! Let's go on Thraja and. <clears throat> and attacking good guy Sando. He, wants to, he just wants to destroy Necromancy, don't you know? I do know, but I have to, like, make sure that his intentions are as what they say. There's a lot of rumors spreading, and I'm not one to believe rumors that easily. However, we should confirm them, just in case. Um, just as the sun hit his peak, you notice a, a glint in the side of the road. Not knowing what it is, you hold your army and send somebody to, uh, someone to check it out. The goblin returns a few minutes later with a sword and a piece of uh, parchment. One look at the sword, the tells you it's worthless. So you tell the goblin to keep it, but the parchment was different. Opening the parchment, you find that it's a note telling you about buried treasures that were hidden somewhere around here. In the bottom corner uh, of the note, you see a small map. Getting your bearings, you notice that the treasures here are in the valley, but uh, not too far south here. So here? In the valley, but not too far south. Hmm... By the way, treasures? As in... Nah, I don't think it's gonna be the Grail. Yeah, I really don't think it's gonna be the Grail. Alright. I have to make sure that neither of my heroes are getting, like, horribly assassinated. I mean... Kinda obvious, yeah, but... That's something that I have to keep in mind quite a bit. There's another crystal cavern over there, that's amazing. We're gonna be having like so many behemoths, so eventually we can move a transition, maybe Kragak, to being a full behemoth god. Um, meanwhile, Yaw can be disposed to other roles uh, instead. But we'll see. Well, yeah, Yaw would be uh, the defense guy, and also. Not only the defense guy, but he would also do other things, such as. Um, hmm. Basically keeping and using all the other army except for Behemoth. So basically we would be having a Behemoth guy and a non-Behemoth guy. And that would be all there is to it. No Cyclops? No, I don't really want Cyclops. I don't really care. I'm gonna be building everything apart from Cyclops, basically. Uh, there's gonna be like some resources more. But honestly we almost did everything that we could here in week one. Um, at least in our starting area. Maybe I wanna actually push out on the um, <laughs> navigation map. Maybe I want to push out on the Arc tier. I could do it for the Vampire Lords. I guess I'll see. I still have to buy out both of the Behemoth Cries very, very, very soon. Uh, but the good part is that, yes, I will actually be able to do so. Pretty easily. Who does the Krag I think he is? Kilgore? Dude, he's even better. 
He can handle the specialty unit. I mean, Kilgore's specialty unit better than the specialist himself easily. Any day. Dude, any behemoth would follow Krakak over Kilgore. Now that's a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, we get to pick up this town, then we get to maybe TP over to the other town over here. Uh, is this town any good? No, it's like a uh, very base one old town. Uh, we have, uh, we have slow, so if we could get Yogg in there, then we could... I mean, all we need is a scholar for him to get these bells. Hmm. I heard that someone nearly died of their COVID vaccine yesterday. I don't know who that is. Hmm. Haven't heard of that person ever before. Uh, let's see. I can't really do the swarm of our chieftains. I guess I really do want to push Yogg in this direction over here. Uh, passive Empire Lords. I think it's going to be like relatively easy and pretty rewarding to do at the same time. Now, if he were to get sniped by the AI before he's ready, that would be like a really big shame. But I'm not going to be assuming the worst uh, when taking these actions. Uh, Kraka can do. I mean, Tarxa can go there. Also, we'll probably want somebody to collect the externals at some point, at the very least. Uh, I can pick this up and this up. Uh, Holes of Alcala will, of course, be like a pretty good thing to get as well. I also think I'm going to be benefiting from having a side hero be collecting here. Uh, this hero will not only pay itself off very fast and easily, it will also gain a lot of value over a little bit of time. <clears throat> of course, we're not being ourse uh, making ourselves fast, because that would be very dangerous, and so on. Hey, okay, that's the first VI we saw. Shortly after you and Krakag joined up, you come across a section of Raffia completely taken over by the undead. Being the bloodthirsty barbarian that Krag, uh, that Krag is, he wanted to go rush in and take on all the necromancers by himself, which actually he's already doing. <laughs> Too late for that. Convincing him to stay and build up an army was a lot easier than he thought. All he had to do was mention that if he built an army, he could roll over all the undead in this area in a matter of weeks. Finally, he nodded in agreement. At least his skull isn't completely empty. You say to yourself as he leaves the room. Really, but I already catch an undead town. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that's a Valeska. Alright, these heroes are like pretty amazing, honestly. It's, uh, I'm probably going to be needing to out army them quite a bit in order to uh, take them down. Because they will be having some decent spellcasting, I would assume. Maybe they will be lacking in spellcasting. And we'll only be able to like do some of that uh, rather late. Eh, we'll see in time. Oh, that's pretty good. Da, 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 da. Okay. Bruh. Uh, before you die to horrible death to some random necromancer here, we definitely need to reinforce this army. Um, also, all these resources that are not crystals or wooden lore can be turned into gold pretty much immediately. I don't think I'll need it for anything else. Uh, maybe I'll want some of them to be crystals too, but I have like lots of crystal mines. I think, yeah, this is gonna be like the main thing. Maybe some crystals, sure. Uh, I think that's kinda good. Then, I think Caitlyn will be going over to collect the behemoths. I don't think she'll do that immediately, but she'll do that relatively soon. So, there we go. Hey, Jasora. That's a little bit of crystal. Unfortunately, actually, literally, only a little bit. But, oh well. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to go up to Ancient Behemoths even. Like, super easily. I just wanna make sure that Yogg doesn't die right now. Because Yogg is actually the weak link. Surprisingly so. 
After a few TPs on the new round, I'm pretty sure we will be able to get him to a power point that he's not gonna be like a liability at the very least. Uh, but I'm not that sure of that, actually. We'll see. You're the weakling! <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't... oh yeah, I double build behemoths, that's good and easy, nice, nice. Uh, for a moment there, I thought I didn't. Uh, but no. Uh, false alarm, everything's... Wait, what is this here, huh? Why did, I, why did I skip that? Whoopsie. Another gold mine over here. Uh, gotta buy lost villages. Uh, not too bad. Okay. So now we need to do some dump portaling. Uh, first of all, I'll go here and collect both the behemoth... Uh, no, actually only the behemoths. I was thinking about the, um... Okay, so here's the idea. Kragak is gonna be Behemoth Gaming, like, all the way. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of it is gonna go on to Yogg. Uh, I wanna pick up, like, maybe a little bit more meat, and maybe something else, and then give it away over to my... What do you do, Yogg? I'm gonna be collecting... Yeah, you can take all of this, but I'll be collecting the Behemoth, thank you very much. That's a decent chunk of army over there. Wait, no... Yes, okay, there we go. It's not like the best, honestly, but I told you. Uh, okay, then... Can I trade on this turn? No, I don't think I can. And I don't have the gold to pick up the externals as well. Uh, not much was expected, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all can go and haggle with the ancestors. Shield of the Damned, alright. I feel like this is going to be more suited for the crack hack. That's going to be, like, really aggressive. So, um, yeah. Uh, we pick it up and we can get Yogg back into the town where there's going to be, like, more behemoths to buy and upgrade at the same time. Uh, Tharks of Main Priority is going to be reaching the training post. I'll block for that. I don't really care what he does. Well, I mean, I care. By the way, that's one of the tens that I need in order to, like, access this place already. Mm-hmm. I saw Resurrection on Crack Egg, that's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, 7 ABs is uh, pretty beautiful. Uh, 500, I have 700, okay. Nimbus, alright. He wants me to defeat Nimbus. Nimbus has, like, pretty amazing stats, though. I don't think it's gonna be easy. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I think I can do these guys. As you come across the rectal rain, you, uh, you come across a man lying on the side of the pass with a big gash in the side. When he sees you standing there, he waves you over. Before you can get too close, though, he points to the east and says uh, in a hoarse whisper, My gold, take in loss of Oryx, hurry! Okay, I'm hurrying. Uh, we have been collecting this gold for years. You will not take it from us. Uh, you sure about that? And let's sack of gold, and as you wipe the blood from your blade, you contemplate what a good fight that was. Well, since the orcs won't be needing this gold anymore, you decide to take it. Oh my god! Woo! How much? How much win the money? Oh my god, win the money! Damn, bro! You got all this army! Wow! All right, well, that's all my gold issues for, like, the rest of the game. Uh, sure. Hmm. All right, all right. I ain't complaining. I wonder if I'm gonna be needing these stands. If I do, then I should be probably, like, uh, rallying my army pretty soon. And I will be... Oh, yeah, I can pick up these as well. I'm pretty sure this army's gonna be able to go pretty aggressive, like... Pretty much already, I guess. Hmm, they're not coming. But they seem like they're pretty close to you. Let's see, sure you didn't go to the map Let's editor. See, are you sure you didn't go to the map editor to give yourself a helping hand? Mm-mm. Brew sip. I <laughs> uh, appreciate that, Defend, but no, I didn't. Of course not. These barbarians need no help.
Uh, wait, we can... wait. Uh, but what I can do right now is I can deal with the rest of this army over to my Yog. Um... Ah, two birds are kind of annoying. Okay. I don't exactly want them. Uh, but I can't exactly leave them either. Okay. Uh, then we're going back over to cool Blackwater. And then we are pushing forward. Um, let's go. Uh, hopefully I can also find Slow on the Yogg. Did I? No, I didn't. That's unfortunate. Anyway, Yogg has uh, put a decent chunk of army. Hopefully he will be able to take on these fights. I mean, there's a throng of vampires over there as well. So I don't think the AI is going to be pushing me like that soon. Uh, lots of bone dragons gone distant. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll get it. I mean, it's not a problem for Craghack, anyway. Honestly, like a walk in the park. Though the park, walk in the park actually takes a little bit of effort. Unlike this. <laughs> uh, what I definitely need to do is I need to have a hero forward. Um, so the point of this is gonna be to not have my main hero kill. By the way, this is actually blocked off by the Black Den. And I'm expecting this to be mirrored on the other side too. But I don't see like a place that I could get the Black Den. Uh, okay, we have like one, two tens. Oh, I can go through here and attack further. Alright, I see. I get it. And then there's gonna be, oh yeah, and then there's a way to attack this side too. So I need to actually come back and take a, like a different road in order to move forward. Uh, let's just confirm my suspicions before I move away. Uh, yep. Suspicions are confirmed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that will Ballista delete the bonies. Yep. Ballista is amazing. Uh, it looks like they're thinking about it. Yeah, it does certainly look like they're thinking about it. I probably should have collected the, um, the Melito, to be honest. By the way, this time, this time. I'll grab the other time before I go, actually. Yeah, sure. May as well. I feel like collecting these tents are gonna be, like, part of the map. I may as well engage with it. Mmm, my resurrection is only 360. That's a little bit bad. Uh, okay, the, uh, catapult is gone, that's not good. Uh, we have Yogg inside here with his, uh, pretty relevant squad, actually. Mm-hmm. Why did I get these three Necrotowns? Maybe I'm not supposed to get them before the Undead deal. That's my only explanation on why I actually have them right now. Yeah, this is already fly, so they are, like, skittering around here for sure. I wonder if I would want another batch of arm before I go and leave on a crack hack. I could leave through here and then into through the Cycle of Kings, or I could do through the Dread Knights. Uh, let's go Cycle of Kings because that like looks uh, like a slightly uh, more annoying road to reach, and it has like the magic spring uh, in a better position. I could fish over a new ballista. I mean, it's kind of worth it. Ballistas are pretty good right now. Uh, I guess we'll see. I have another gold mine. Our gold income is like pretty good. But then again, after getting that like gold pile, I don't think I'm gonna be like missing out on any gold really. Oh, I didn't pick up these behemoths. Oh, I thought I was missing something. Okay, I can check with them and deliver them to Craghack, no problem. That's gonna be a non issue. Then maybe Torax can go there as well. If somebody comes though, then I will have to defend on the crag. Hmm. Uh, the cities are coming along nicely. It's uh, going slower than you would like, uh, but for some reason you have a nagging suspicion that you're in for a lot of trouble. Not like this feeling, you send out some scouts to take a look at, uh, at the area around you. Hopefully they will bring back some intelligence on the enemy. Slower? We built behemoths on Riquan. How much faster can it be? Uh, I think the Melito makes sense. 
Oh, wait, I'm playing badly. Oops. Can we reach? Yeah, basically. Dark Soul will be able to help out too. Mm hmm. I shouldn't do that. Honestly, I feel like uh, putting Yogg here is gonna be kind of a bad idea. But I can, like, grab maybe the mine over there, stuff like that. It's gonna be not too bad. Uh, this Molito. Hmm. Well, no, why would I wanna liberate it right now? It wouldn't really accomplish much anyway. Bible is up for crying. Nah, not right now. Maybe later. Uh, Caitlyn has... Oh, yeah. Caitlyn can just deliver the Fusion Behees and the Ring. Uh, there we go. We are hella strong. Cyclops has gone in this area. Thematically, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's go. We only need to use two reses here. Uh, if I could blind... No, I'm not a blind. Maybe cure will do? Uh, they're doing 70 something damage. No, blind will not do. No behemoth lit behind. I wonder what these. They're probably guarding a tent, aren't they? No, they're just behemoths. Uh. You, you friendly or something? I um, wonder. Is that their strongest hero? It is, actually. You guys friendly or what? No? Okay. I wonder what they're up... I mean, I wonder why they're here. Oh! Maybe they're guarding, like, the treasure. That doesn't make some sense. Oh. Oh, that morale is kind of big. Now, I need them to split. They are splitting very nicely. So, wait. Is it this the grail? Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. I uh, can grab this. I uh, can go over there, grab like a little bit of resource. Okay. Spent them more to check it. No, I'm. Well, actually, I will check it, but on like a side hero. I'm definitely not dragging my main all the way there. Just not happening. <laughs> Alright, could have bought this a little while ago too. Oh come on, really? So rude. Okay, let's then go. Protection from water. A little bit of a weird spellcast, but I guess they don't really have much better. If I enter magic, I would not be able to resurrect, but I would not I would also not really be able to take any damage, so it kinda works out. I mean against 18 power, I feel like this is gonna be one of the best casts. If I wait right now and I don't get killed, then I would be able to assassinate already. Uh no. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they have protection. I don't have lightning bolt. Um Anyway, I want to wait. Oh, the spell. I can't really have that. Alright. I have Caitlyn here running, uh, <clears throat> running behind closely. And I bet I killed most of their army, so this time it's going to be like right on Garden. And I will be able to claim it. Hey, Sir Rage. That many ABs got nothing. Maybe, I mean, there's like some weird choices. Or maybe there is like actually something. I don't know. Maybe they were destined to join, but I need like more army to get that. I don't know. They gave like plenty of reasons. <laughs> oh, did I buy castles? That's kind of a mistake. Yeah, that's probably a mistake by me. I should have bought castles though. Wait, this is a town of a there? That's like a weird angle for the Falk to be spawning. It's like this castle spawned it or something. No, no, no. It spawned like this. It's just that I uncovered some of it already with these two heroes. That's why it appears this way. Yeah, okay. I get it. Uh, okay. 
off. Use Skelly over here. No problem. Um, this is like a castle. Uh, I can pull the capital here, like, really early on as well. Um, all the bl uh, borders are got to buy... I mean, all the gates are got to buy a black border guard. If I could get a black border guard, then that would be insanely good. He had sent out two scouts to check out the town's fortifications. Only one returned, but he had more than just information on the fortifications. He had an interesting conversation memorized. This is getting ridiculous. Phineas Vilmar will be absolutely raging with you uh, of our losses. Our borders were simple. Come, our orders were simple. Come here and build an army. We can't even do that. I'm going to take that barbarian set and use it as a paperweight. Once I catch him, that is, said the necromancer. You haven't won yet. Do not fear, the soldier replied. I'm not afraid. Do you hear me? Nothing in this world scares me. Yes, sir. Now go get me the heads of those filthy barbarians now. That's when their conversation ended, sir. Noting this, you decide the, that the once these sacraments are gone, you would pay Phineas Wilmar a visit. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Hey, Rafiki. Thank you. And also, uh, welcome, Zanzik, uh, Zitka. Be not afraid. Yeah. Uh, so I can move on here. An observatory would be, would be kind of nice, actually. And I do want, like, a few more girls to be running around here doing nothing. Wait, nothing? <laughs> Something. Wait, I ended up being to the wrong town initially. Um, eh. I mean... Easily solvable. Whatever. Then... Wait, I'm tipping like absolute garbage. Um, stop that. Uh, I need to go to the Rhine's Bike to upgrade the rest of the army that I ended up just buying out. Um, then we have um, 18 Agent Behemoths. That's really an insane army. Then I want to go back over to Sanctum and deposit everything that is going to be non behemoths and let's say one final of birth for speed priority so I can get anti-magic off before I die to an implosion or something silly like that. Uh, then we go back to Death's Gate in order to go to town, and also, at the same time, recover some mana. Um, that is the current plan. Uh, so am I digging? Yeah, let's dig. Oh? Oh! The seer wanted me to kill the ancient behemoths, and now they're giving me 25 sack of kings as a reward. All right, all right, I accept your humble offerings. Okay, wow, damn. That is amazing. That is really, really good. I like that. And I think we basically already beat one of the AI into the ground. It seems like they have, like, a little bit more of something, but... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we can also build into a capital. No reason not. Hey, Sabir. Hey, can't see a red dot. Can't see a red dot. So, what do we do? I guess... Wow, Legs of Legion. I just want to make sure that my Yogg doesn't get called by surprise because he's one of the heroes that are that you know just can't die in this campaign. Um, at the same time, I don't want them to be useless. Well, honestly, it's kind of fine if he's like a little bit useless at points. It wouldn't be the worst thing at all. Can you show the fuse guild again, please? Uh, yeah, sure. There, the Nimbus is like absolutely jacked in terms of stats. Then there is the Clavia. This is the guy that I just no, I be. No? I know that there's a guy that wants me to beat Nimbus. Oh, okay, who's that? Uh, Gal of the Fran. Oh, okay, I just got arrowed. <laughs> Whoa! Valeska. Okay, Valeska's not that scary, I think. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, like, nothing. Anyway. I will dig still, even if it's nothing. I came here to dig, and I'm gonna dig. Uh, right now what I need is I need to grab a few one stack. I mean, a few heroes with one stack, some magic girl that will be able to dispose of the trash that is, uh, ooh. Wait, how's Valeska? Why is Valeska holding on to the entirety of the, uh, of the purple army? What? How does that make sense? And that's the Nimbus. That's the strongest guy, apparently. As long as I keep my Behe's anti magic, I'm pretty sure this is a fight that I am able to take. And then, of course, I need to deal with the girlfriend, too. 
So, when it comes to the girlfriend, I'm just gonna pick up some lich actually. And these liches should be able to make short work. Actually, I really want the spellbook deal. Um, then this is gonna be dealable with. Let's crack the starting hero. Uh, crack is one of the heroes from the previous campaigns that we, you know, he's a story hero. I want to be checking out what the quest reward will be for beating Nimbus into the ground. Uh, okay, so with this army, I feel pretty confident in, um, in challenging probably their strongest hero into a duel. I would love to collect the this first, but oh well. Mm, just a straight of flame. Well, I mean, if it's a barb uh, if it's a necromancer like him, pretty. Well. 257 Skelly. If I can, I would love to make him not retreat and actually die, but I'm not really optimistic in being able to do so. Oh, uh, once I've gone to a death ripple. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. In the way that the battle is going so far. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he will just retreat. Uh, before retreating, he will cast another spell. I think it might be another Death Ripple. If he had something better, then he probably would have already cast it. And a Death Ripple or a small spell is more likely to kill some Thakult Kings rather than the Ancient Behemoth Soul and the Magic Dam. And I'm expecting a flea right now. There we go! And if I, the magic arrow didn't kill an extra behemoth, but it would have killed one or two extra cyclops, so the anti-magic was actually really on point. Um, nice. Smartly executed and finished. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what is next? I protected from most of the threads that are around here, but there could be like some extra, for example, on this side. Uh, the way that I'll enforce my position here is gonna be... Ooh, hello. Uh... By the way, where would, where would this lead? Two way. Alright. Is found one of the strongest heroes by this point? No, there's gonna be like stronger heroes out there still. Uh, oh yeah, what I'll do is I'll just come back to Dev's Gate and defend that. I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, certainly nothing wrong with this at all. Dude, we're blowing past this campaign, I think. And we just defeated Nim- Wait, no, we didn't defeat Nimbus, he retreated. So I don't think we can actually complete the quest. Mm-hmm. Resurrect 4? Ah, okay, well, Resurrection it was also a play, yes. Then, yeah, he's gonna be retreating. Uh, these black borders are a really big nuisance. Some loyal troops have finally arrived to help you with the uh, with those Necromancers. Wow, okay. Okay, that's a lot of army available. Nice. I like that, I like that. I also want to explore here again. Mm, that's gonna be no problem whatsoever. So not only did I defeat probably uh, both of the players' uh, biggest armies by this point. Oh yeah, there's Ghostwind. And, oh, it's accessible, accessible from the two-way. And that's probably most, yeah, that's most of it. So, getting past the tent seems to be like the most important thing of all. I want to deal with Charnatia, and I also want to deal with the tent, so it's, uh, she's actually on the way there. And then I also want the library as well. Uh, but all these things achieved, I'm going to be in a pretty good spot. And then the position of the last tent is going to be very clear. It's gonna be past the Dread Knights, and honestly I could have my Yawgong there already, but I'm a little bit worried because he might just die. Now, I trust Yogg. No, actually, I'm lying. I don't trust Yogg. <laughs> That's the problem. Then I'm gonna wait again. Okay, I wanted to wait and then okay. Uh that didn't work out this the way that I wanted to. That I wanted it to. Unfortunate. Hmm, one uh no. Uh one is too little. Then I don't want this town to get sniped, so I'm just gonna buy some meat there and uh so that it basically can just hold on to the town. There's gonna be quite a bit of army available. I might also want to build into Cyclops as well. No, actually I don't want to build into Cyclops. I really don't care. 
Maybe this counts as defeating him. Oh! Now I may continue my sad life uh, that Nimbus has been brought to justice. So, uh, for discomfort, would you accept a reward? Dude, what? The, who says this? Damn. 1990s was pretty dark. Now I can continue my sad life. Oh man. I'm. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. You can continue your sad life. Mm-hmm. I dude this sound these sounds are gonna be like really easy and predictable by them. Uh but I'm guessing that this is like part of the setup of, of the campaign. Living in the tiny hut with 25 uh, Thunderbirds can't be fun. Really? Dude, they look fluffy, yeah. That looks like the most fun, honestly. Uh could just be me though. I'm gonna be honestly y'all like it's gonna be like a full side hero. I yeah. I mean it's Crack Axe Shell, okay? It's crack act shell. So we can go here, we can collect the uh, most of the other army. I don't really care about the orcs, let's say. Mm, it would be really, really good to upgrade some of the other army, such as goblins. Yeah, getting some gobble super stack would be kind of cool. I leave the dog behind here for now as well. Oh yeah, wait, behemoth. Wait, why is there a random behemoth here? I don't know, I don't care. One behemoth here too? Oh yeah, because of the new recruitments. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. That's what I came up. Uh, wait, I have like so much gold and I still am not able to afford everything. Imagine if I didn't get that gold. <laughs> so right now I need to go over to the Dread Knights. Um, I cannot... Actually, I can visit this. Yeah, okay. Then I'll go past here. Um, I think this road is like a little bit uh, longer, but it has some upsides, so whatever. I think I crippled their armies to the point that they will not be able to attack me that easily. At least I'll start a new week where they will be getting a new batch of army after. Uh, they're getting the tents too, but I don't think these tents will actually help them unless they can collect all of them, which they probably will not. Then again, I did kind of like, uh... Okay... By the way, we can't even see like as much info if we see it for the second time. Um, that's kind of weird. I feel like I am entitled to that information, but I guess the game thinks differently, so... Oh well. <laughs> uh, okay, we wait. Uh, country is easy. No resurrection for the one goblin. Don't deserve it. Oh, uh, forgot to upgrade. Ah, uh, no, I just didn't have the gold for the upgrade. I didn't forget it. There's gonna be like another castle here, and then we're eventually gonna be going uh, over to these two, finally. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, really? Bruh. Oh, that's a Nimbus. Again, but it doesn't matter. Even if I lose this town, it's very temporary. And it's all about collecting the tents and the advancing past the black tent. Um, yeah, this map is all about the black tent. Mm -hmm. uh, looking down at the scouts report, you realize, you realize the necromancer's forces are a lot stronger than you usually thought. Not only will they come at me from all sides, we are at number 3 to 1. I must let Krakak know about this immediately. Outnumbered, 3 to 1. Those are pretty good odds. I mean, for me, not for them. There's gonna be a tent in this location, naturally. I don't think there's gonna be, like, uh, much more that we have to do. Uh, they're attacking... I mean, yeah. Their attacks would be, like, very, very easy to see. They wouldn't be sudden at all, and I would be able to react to it. Well, yeah, like, for sure. Easily. If only I had enough army and gem to take the town back, then I could actually teleport Krakak and, yeah, just swipe them out. But, well, that will most certainly not be a thing. Hmm, sure.
You picked up Redwood, the, if you repeat the enemy's turn, do you see more? Oh yeah, I would see more if I were to pick up the Redwood and then repeat. Don't really care about that hero. Okay, now I'm past this place. And I can attack the town. Oh, that's a Charna. Okay, so Charna is dead for good. Ah, uh, that was pretty nice. I cannot get inside with the hero. Uh, slightly unfortunate, but also... Eh, whatever. Uh, Aislinn? No. Mary. I think one of these heroes can actually reach the... Um... No? Wait, oops. I don't mean to. Look at that. This is not a cover. Again. Oh, there's a Seer Hut. I think Charna is the hero that they want me to do. Wait, no. If we know, if we learned, wait, where is, where was the positioning of the last stand? That was like down here. Then this stand should be like probably over there, I guess. Yeah, we need to find the tent. Um, still, I need a faster hero that's gonna be able to reach this uh, annoying hero over here. I mean, I don't exactly need to reach it, but I kind of want to. Could you die, please? Thank you. <laughs> Alchemist Lab. I guess we can just pick it up. I mean, if they take the town back next turn, I don't really, I don't exactly care about that, you know. Um, at most I would feel like a slight annoyance, which is not very meaningful. The fact that I have town portal on the scrap guy is actually pretty amazing, by the way. I like that a lot. Uh, okay. Why not kill the dragon that's gonna kill me? No. Ah, uh, okay, I don't have a magic girl, huh? But this one guy should be able to beat him. No. I need to w I need to have a wait turn to beat him. But if I wait, then I'm gonna die. But if I Yeah, okay, bro. <laughs> Oh. Um, so quest has been completed, huh? Alright. Well, that's annoying. Um, okay, so still... Uh, what am I going to be doing right now? Lock him off? I don't need to. I mean, it's fine if they get the town for this turn. It doesn't do me any harm. I don't think I... No... The Thunderbirds are not that important. Meanwhile, all these Wolfies and Doges are actually, like, pretty important, actually. No, I could share the army and, like, run around with Krakha. I mean, with the uh, Night of Hero, yeah, like, but... Honestly, I don't see a good reason to do so. Okay. Then, upgrade, bye 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 bye. That's an amazing amount of armor, by the way. Holy. Uh, yeah, I think this is my biggest campaign army so far. Nice. So now, clearly, we're holding up the blind. Oh, we're not letting this town go anytime soon. And now I have to know where the tent is. Uh, thankfully I have some pretty good heroes in the tavern. Um, that I will be able to use in order to get this information. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna be needing one of these heroes to exact vengeance on the Vidomina that is over here. I mean, not Sai. I don't mind if you're on, so that's good enough for me. Well, I don't see no tent. Is it gonna be down left or is it gonna be up? I don't know. I mean, I'm missing one tent that was in the three zones. I mean, yeah, in the three other zones, but now I'm missing one. It clearly has to be somewhere here in this region. Uh, 
I think I'll just move like this and I'll be able to react to most of the locations, basically. I can also maybe try and be sneaky be like uh, with Caitlyn. Hey, Carol. Welcome. Hey, RGI. I think I need to be around here in order to be able to get to town in a single time. I didn't see like the tent on the road. Alright. Also, this other girl died. Well, Lola is still able to explore though. Okay, here we go, we found it. I can also deal with Nimbus. Again. <laughs> Immediately. I mean, he's smart, but not very brave. As expected of a necromancer. Alright, then uh, Lola can collect. And now we can actually go and launch the final, the main attack. Uh, past this model lift 2A. Oh! Alright, that's gonna be epic. If I could, I would also like to hold on to this stone. But I don't think I will be able to. Well, I did. No, I didn't kill them though, so he fled. Uh, there's also Clavius out there as well, still. Mm -hmm. Well, that begin. Hmm, Striker seems to be uh, defendable. I mean, even if I, I have, all these towns are next to a portal, right? So I'll be able to like get them as soon as I get the main town. Okay, so which one, which road is closer? It's gonna be uh, this road. I'll also even get a little bit more on me too. Ah, uh, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna be able to attack those castles. That's amazing. Could we save this down? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, I cannot deal with the fortifications. Oh well. And yes, I did give up the... Uh, actually, I could have defended against Shrek at the very least, but no, it doesn't matter. Like, other heroes with Gundam would be able to take it, anyway. Laughing to yourself, you come to the realization you were crazy to even think about joining forces with that that barbarian crash reply had uh, come just so short while ago here is what it said we build we crush fear not the smelly ones well the message was blunt if anything we lied to the barbarian will probably rush off in the battle how prepared you bark ordered to speed up the preparations dude how prepared you see this army Oh, after several hours of searching, you finally spot, found a spot where the map indicated buried treasure. Not wanting to do the labor yourself, you ordered some of your men to do it for you. Several minutes later, you are graciously rewarded. Damn. Okay, I was just getting lots of gold, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I have a lot of gold now, I guess. Sure. Uh, I should probably just take everything in. Go to the next one as well. No reason not to. Oh, okay, maybe there's a reason not to. Ah, then again, if there's no hero here, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, Nemesis is out. Clavius is, I think, somewhere else as well. Uh, I think there's gonna be, like, no actual hero here. And that makes this fight pretty safe. Yeah, okay, cool. Look down to see Factory out yet. Hey, for science, welcome. And no Factory's not out yet. Uh, maybe New Year's. Like, they like doing patches on during those times. At least, uh, based on the history. But we'll see. But whenever it's out, I'm, you know, I'm really excited. I need them to come out so I can hit them with, like, the rest of my units. I got it, hold it. q -hunter. it's gonna be fine now. I can maybe finish off the game in this turn already, possibly. Well, I mean, at least I can get more towns, and then I can reinforce them with crack hacks to beam. What? 
Is that a one life? No. I just have something. Oh, I didn't pick up the black tent yet. Oh, okay, that's no problem. We can just get uh, another hero to pick up the black tent. Here we go. Oh, what a nice town you have there. It would be a shame. If I were to just take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really want my Krygak to deal with this hero, though. If he can. He can. Uh, 320. That's almost all my moves. Hmm, that's fine. I do see this guy too, by the way. What is this template? Hey, Marcus! This is the Shadow Death Campaign. Hi there, we're Um, uh, not don't know where's the Domina. Then wait, I want to get the army with the Kragi. Um, uh, then we can progress on the Nimbus. Nimbus is gonna be like the strongest here, here for the uh, for this guy at least. Actually, yeah, it seems like I might just be able to finish off the campaign in this turn already. If there's no, like, other strong hero out there, which doesn't feel like there is, to be honest. Wow. He didn't retreat. I got an Nord Club and a Vampire Scowl. Sure. Okay. So Nimbus is defeated. There's only, like, a few heroes left. Um, sure. Then what I need to do now is I need to get, uh, I think there's only like one more town that is actually out there for me to collect. Wait, oops. Um, I want to be having like full moon. Oh, hello. Wow, look at that. Wow, implosion. Oh my god. Wait, this is the guy that I was spamming anti-magic from. Oh my god, he could have just imploded on my... <clears throat> Wow, okay, I mean, anyway. Haha, <laughs> I'm the employer now. Yeah, what you gonna do? He's actually so strong, so good. Expert slow, expert haste. Everything. But he chose to cast expert dispel, by the way, in magic arrow. Haha! <laughs> sure. Come on. What? I don't get it. Is it blocked? Does it not go there? I'm supposed to go here into this area. I'm dizzy. Me too, man. Me too. Wait, it's broken! Ooh. Different portal? Oh, different portal. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Well, too bad. Minder will not be able to be used. Oh yeah, so this is a portal connects all the right side, and this portal collects all the left side. Alright. And clearly I want another new hero to come out here. There we go. Uh, Striker's the strongest hero that you have remaining. Yeah, but he's not so strong, so... I'm not exactly afraid. Wait, what if I left the army? What if I... What if my guy, my main guy, gets sniped out right now? By some random... Uh, by some random... Nah! Nah. Well, actually, yeah. I'll have to get my army back on him. <laughs> I don't feel like this is very safe. Oh, actually, the man boots call him, man. They almost have, like, look near that king. TBH. How many girls are there? There's Glavius out there somewhere. Hmm. That's not good. I wonder if I can reach the observatory on a single turn. I mean, I have like infinite gold, right? So. I can explore a little bit over here. Okay, I found Font. I wish I did before. I mean, he's literally looking down at Kragahack. 
Oh well, yeah, the good part is that I can chain it on your back pretty easily. There's no problem with that whatsoever. Hmm. So I have all the castles now that are there to be had. Okay, Ryan is reachable. Uh, so I can just attack Ryan, I guess. Okay, attack Private Ryan. By the way, we have Nimbus, level 30 guy. Damn, what is this spellcasting? Okay, his spellcasting kind of suck. Uh, so he was easy, easier to deal with. By the way, he has like lots of moves as well. Not bad. A glorious victory. Oh, and I can actually go past the black then. So I don't need to go like all the way around. I can just do it like this. Panther's the strongest guy of orange. Maybe the last guy of orange, actually. Yeah, okay, orange has been vanquished. Uh, so we dealt with one AI entirely in this one single turn, by the way, of the attack. Uh, this is how Kragax matches. And I'm pretty sure Clavius is gonna be like one of the last guys of the other AI. Now... I don't know where he is. So that's something. Maybe we can reach the observatory, especially if I were to get like a decent hero. Oh, okay. Do we see Clavius? No, we don't. He's probably gonna be like uh, over there north, in that case. Um, anyway, something that I will most definitely do is I'm gonna be getting the army from my side hero. Oh, the air? Oh yeah, the air is gonna be a thing. No, I don't have it, actually. I don't have air magics. Oh, maybe Nimbus. Maybe Nimbus or Mwander. No. No. Nope. Just no. So in a single turn, I basically conquered the entire map. Wow. And uh, how many moves do we have on Crackhack? 117. That's whatever. Mm -hmm. So Clavis will desperately come running back to Blight, and then we shall kill him. Or to this town, I guess. It's your last thing, Clavius. you have any words. Mm -hmm. New Sanctuary? Oh yeah, I could've used the Sanctuary, I guess. Eh, no need to, though. Fine. Easy. Purple of some bankers, congratulations! All your enemies have been defeated. Victory is yours. Not even one month! And we defeated Necromancers. One to three odds. And by the way, Craggy did it himself. Yark is probably still like, more army, more army, we have to build up. Craggy, Craggy, you're not going yet, are you? And Craggy is like, hey, I, I got him. Um, Y'all like, Yark be like, wait, got who? You got like, some army recruited? That's good, that's good. You mean, no, I got him. I killed them all. And I was like, you, you what? <laughs> That's probably literally the story. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. I uh, cry. Craggy got him. <laughs> Amazing. Hell yeah. Successful? It's gotta be a usual Sandro trick. Nah. Is that how you fall asleep? I'm gonna... No. Um, by the way, predictions. Uh, people believe me. Okay, good job. Can't wait to see Lexha have no save Dragon Slayer campaign. <laughs> it's just me or it's Lexha have uh, Cam a bit behind his voice. One, two, three. Don't know. Anyway, let's go. Wait, you can start with 15 tier 3 units? Or 20 tier 4 units? Hmm, no idea. What? Sharpshooters. Ah, uh, even then, I don't know. I probably will go with these anyway. 4 hero, oh yeah. You must defeat the- uh, oh, you must capture Castle uh, Crypt Foam to win the scenario. However, if Gemma Gel is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. The heroes are limited to level 33, but will carry their experience, skills, and spells onto the next scenario. Alright. Several days ago, the Avli Council of Elders commanded Jim and myself to avenge the deaths of Lord Faloro, Lord Fiet, the Dragon Lords, and all the other victims of the Necromancer's raids. At the border, we encountered this... this horrific scene. 
The Dajian lords must be destroyed before all of Avli is harvested for their undead armies. Hmm. Okay. As Linda Sandor was behind the plot to kill Lord Fal Falorel, uh, I did some more investigating and discovered that the uh, dragon lords that destroyed were not bandits. They were real Avli border lords. I felt I had to explain personally to Avli Council of Elders and accept their judgment for my mistake. The council was skeptical, but after consulting with their oracle, I they said I could best make amends by participating in a punitive campaign against Asia. I feel honor bound to accept their judgment, and I have taken the leave of abs a leave of absence uh, from the forest guide. Gem, the doll got uh, the doll got to me. It looked just like the one my sister had right before she died. I remember thinking she was the luckiest girl in the world to have a doll like that. Then the horde of skeletons killed everyone in my village. I was the only survivor. I'm glad the Council of Elders chose me as the one of the pair to punish Deja. All right. What about this doll though? Like, wow, doll. <laughs> like, the entire village got slaughtered. Hello. Like, maybe doll is. I don't know. Oh, you, you know, whatever. You drew so kind of weird. Uh, uh, so, how did I leave off? I got, like, plenty of offensive casting on my gem, and I got some good utility on my jelly, which should be probably the opposite, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Back of demons. Okay, so I'm going to be, like, immediately exploring it everything, right? Uh, sure. Uh, we have Coronius. Ooh, oh my god! Wait, that's like the best hero th that I could have in this entire campaign. Holy! Oh my god! I'll be able to have these spells be distributed evenly, immediately. Wow! Hey, Aisanaki, thank you. Wait, but like, then... Hmm... I need the gold first, right? Well, yeah, of course. I'm not distributing anything if I have nothing to distribute, naturally. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, so anyway, I just started blasting. I don't remember having... The Shrine Dead on this hero. What about this hero? The Shrine Dead? The Shrine Dead? I mean, from the offensive spells. Uh, no. Eh, we'll be able to converge, like, a little bit later. But being able to, like, transfer the, uh, Chain Lightning and the Meteor Shower into Jelly, and then, uh, uh, Town Portal into Gen is gonna be very nice. Uh, both these heroes, I think, will be really good utility for me. Uh, does he have to pee? Uh, Jelly has to pee. I made sure to get it in the campaign of Jelly. So, we're gonna be, like, just fine. Do I bless? No, I don't. How do I not have Bless? What the... Anyway, just go. In terms of stats, gems like way better. Jelly stats are kind of all over the place. They're not like very convenient to use. Uh, what is my... S no... Okay, I have like res and shower. I should be fine. There we go. I still haven't gotten like even a tiny chunk of gold here in this map so far. Um, that's kind of bad. Huh. Okay, there's nothing there either. Hmm. Pack of zealots. I mean, I can do that. I can do that. Actually, I don't mind that. Oh yeah, I don't get the same result. I need to not forget that. Otherwise, I might be in some trouble. Okay, so gold is gonna be like the most important thing, though. I'm not, and I have no, not available. I can do the power just easy. Destroying that would be really, really good, but I mean, it's not available. That's on. I have to choose whether I want to resurrect one sharpshooter. And the answer is no. Do I have a special idea? So, any imp cache is gonna be like so crazy. I should have accepted the auto, but now that I didn't, I actually just have to do the fight. If I had to get blocked here, I would actually just lose. I guess the AI morale. Mm. 
pack amount of gains. Actually, I can. I will be able to get a homestead for some extra shark uh, here. The start of the map, dude, is kind of high, not gonna lie. Like, not having a single tiny bit of gold and 200% difficulty is like. Yeah, it's just not very good, huh? the centaurs, it will only make me faster. Then I can collect all the other mines. I'll actually go for the temple immediately. Mm -hmm. I did. I hated this campaign scenario on Holy Alliance. Uh, they destroyed my pimp heroes. I was very sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand that. I understand that. I also thought I would be keeping my heroes and I was disappointed. I get how you feel. Bro. And my slow is expiring too. Uh, actually, we have it just in time. Yep. And I'll be staying here without a hero. Actually, we should be prioritizing the uh, gold. Not a lot of it, but it's something. Anyway, we are pretty efficiently, like, clearing the entire map. I like that. It feels pretty nice. But I definitely have to buy Peronius. He's so good right now. I can also go past here, but that doesn't do too much. Uh, these resources will be mostly useful for trading into gold, I guess. Not really much more. Can I afford to upgrade them right now? The answer is no. But that's also fine. A uh, little bit of extra slow, we'll win this fight, easy peasy. Uh, we're basically out of mana. So I will not be able to go past the... Uh... Wait, there's actually a dwelling here. That probably suggests to me that there's a rampy town over this side. Uh, then maybe there's gonna be like another one over here too. Uh, I guess we'll see. A treasure would also be like really, really good right now. By the way, because the gem is like more spell dependent, getting like a little bit more army on gem, I mean, uh, on jelly would have made a lot more sense as well. Uh, that's something that I kind of regret. The gates. I cannot pick up arm from the gates I tried like in one of the previous campaigns. It would be kind of overpowering. <laughs> If I pick up the Coronius on this turn, then I'll be able to pick up the Homestead on him. Ah, uh, this is a kind of annoying fight. Because I can't dash for slow, because the, the ones down the middle uh, are pretty likely to resist him. Actually, ah, okay, they resisted him. I know. Okay, that's another ramp down. Oh my god, yes. That's amazing. Mm, no forward, but a lot of prevent them. It'll do. It'll do. That means that the other town is probably gonna be not the highest priority either. Mm, we have no mana. Uh, we're gonna be needing to recover mana and jelly on the next turn, for sure. That means jelly is not doing anything on the following turn, though. I guess I can pick up the, uh, the Basilisk fight? I mean, perhaps. I already hired Coronius. 3.3k gold. Okay. 
then the first thing that we'll do is we have to pick up the spells and pick up the uh, this and this. Then uh, my Coronius will be first of all able to TP. What? Eh? Oh, Jello has TP. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. 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 So Jello is here that needs TP actually. Hmm. That's not good. I don't know where this tent leads, but you never not need a tent, so may as well pick it up, right? Well, except if Lord Fayetti comes running at you, then you kind of don't need a tent. <laughs> but that doesn't usually happen. Mmm, it's all fine. Oops. Uh, this will do. Uh, Mage Guild is of utmost uh, urgency, and then the Homestead is also gonna be like very urgent as well. Okay. Come to stream just to say Lexi hi. Hey! Mr. Lodzi. Mm. Chat only love. Hell yeah. So, uh, we do what now? Uh, now that we have manners, we can actually trade up all the spells that we need to, and whatever in whatever way we need to. Wait, can we still reach? Yeah, we can. Uh, that means that I can't really use my Coronius' moves that sparingly. Alright, anyway, we have to go back to Greenfall, so we have to trade this. Uh, we picked up all the spells from Gem already. So now all that Gem needs to do is she needs to... Okay, so now Gem has to, I mean, yeah, Gem has to be and like all the other spells. Uh, we share them all, and then we can also pick up the, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, we can pick up the homestead, so that's where the Jill's army will be coming from, eventually. Okay, then... Paulages? Where Chum? I'm just trying to amaze all the treasury, I guess. Uh, put a big one, that was very nice. Then I'm going back for mana, I guess. And I have mana in the elf line. Okay, cool. So now I have like some income, I have like some heroes, I have established myself. Actually, through the apologists, I don't care about this. The only okay, then we have a rod of progression for the garrison or for the left side. Uh sure. Are the I that strong? I don't really know. Where have you been, Lexi? Uh, I've been like a uh, rather sex cell. That's where I've been. I'm going to go back over into the town using town portal. No problem with that. Pretty good actually. Now uh, I can get Jelu back out. And of course, Jelu is going to be. Um... Um, well, yeah, she is the elf queen. Ah, uh, king, I mean. <laughs> I keep still confusing Jello's gender, but whatever. Uh, I think the L's just for them to be eventually upgraded. I'm expecting a ramp down here, that is correct. Ah, uh, this time they did not join, that's also fine. And yeah, we can pick up all the mines, all the gold around here as well. Ah, uh, meanwhile, Gem, I think it's gonna be pushing forward already. Yeah, I'm gonna go like really aggressive with Gem, I think. Uh, before the opponents can do, like, much of anything, uh, that would be my ideal circumstance. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this Blitzkrieg kind of strategy will work out that well at all, but that's what I want to try. So that's what I will try. Uh, Kronos may as well collect the uh, Homestead from here, and he has to be as well. If he had Earth Majesty, he would be, like, perfect. Um, Ares, he is not bad. I could even teach him the spells too. Ooh, okay. 
I see the message from Africa today. Africa said, uh, said it has been uh, a decade since. Uh, Deki Sandra was his apprentice. Oh, that's the guy that I ended up having to defeat when I went to Deja. All right. So, in this timeline, Africa's probably still alive, but probably not for like much longer. He said Sandra ran away and became a necromancer. Uh, there was more ill uh, tidings. Efric said Sandra might be trying to construct a powerful artifact from all the artifacts I gathered for him. I was so furious, I screamed. None of my troops came near me for an hour. I must pass these uh, tidings. Tidings? I don't know what this word. Uh, sounds like a laundry pod. Uh, on to Jellu and the Council of Elders. Mm. Wait, what was the hero? Are they powerful? No, they probably just barely beat them. Hmm, interesting. So there's probably like a comparable border. I could maybe spell it down, but I'm not sure if that's going to be like a very good idea. Let's try and go for it. Uh, casting countries would be super premium. Anything apart from that would not really be premium, I guess. I think must be lying. Probably. Probably. I couldn't fathom Sandra being a bad guy. Wow, that's a little bit better than delicious. All right. Uh, then we also also have a gold mine. Uh, Coronis is collecting some army. Sure. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not building into force. I think I think that would be like a little bit too slow. I want to finish off the campaign faster than that. Okay, Clavius, your time has come. It's not a weak looking hero. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not doing these borders right now. At all. Uh, do I TP back? If I TP back, then I just have to build up army with this little limited area and resources. Mm, I probably will just give away Jellu's uh, army and then go... Well, Jellu's actually... Jellu could actually be the one to push him forward, though. Uh, but based on mine, not so much magic, I guess. Excuse me. Another 10. Uh, okay, so we got two 10s. It feels like it should be leading up to something, but I have no idea what. Wait, wasn't there an underground zone? I don't think there was an underground zone. Oh yeah, here. Um, mines, eh? Sulfur? What am I supposed to do with so much sulfur? What? What do you mean? Oh, it's just from Matic, right? Because, you know, sulfur is dug from the mines. Mines are in the underground. Wow. Okay, game. I'm sorry. I didn't understand you genius immediately. <laughs> Let's see. Thank you. So I just have to commit to one of the heroes pushing. And I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be gem after all, honestly. Yeah, it'll be gem. It'll be gem. So she's recovering mana, picking up the power, and then going down the road again. And like that, she will be actually strong enough to do most of what I need her to do. Wait, did I not make it fast? No, I didn't make it fast, I think. She wouldn't have three pluses uh, all the way. Not to be bad for Coronius right now, unfortunate. Um, anyway, this army is like pretty good. I like it. 
Even the Mono Kings are not bad. I'll leave this with uh, Jelly, though. It makes more sense. The reason it makes more sense is because uh, Jim is picking up a different one right now. I'm really hoping to be able to reach a town on this turn. Uh, I mean, not this turn, but rather this week. If I can do that, I'm gonna be, like, pretty glad about that. <laughs> I'll most definitely want to buy some income, and maybe I want to build, like, at least one of the forts already as well, so I can get even more. I think my entire army is gonna be, um, marksman, I mean, uh, sharpshooters, probably. I see the message from Jen today. She had found our uh, Sandra's in Necromancer. Um, she sounded angry. She said Sandra might have built some of lot of from all the artifacts she gathered for him. I wonder if the dead Abley lords uh, stumbled across this plan. Hmm. Uh, there's no problem casting here. No, I don't want them to go in immediately. I would prefer them waiting. Well, no, they will not get the chance to move. So, yeah. I mean, not get a chance to use the full moves at the very least. Then I'll have to bait them around pretty well. I think killing the bone dragons is going to be the main primary concern. I don't have clone, that's unfortunate. Uh, clone would have been amazing in this scenario. Then I think I'll just blast them. No, maybe because there's some, uh, getting some more damage over time first. Uh, first, but blast could be better. Let's see. My damage goes from... Ooh, I'm getting some damage. I cross made it so it would be like pretty valuable, I guess. Um, it also makes everything like a lot more deterministic. I wonder if I have force field. I don't remember. I should be able to bait some of them back. I do have force of the field, alright. Uh, these stacks are getting too shot. The worst thing is gonna be the Black Knights, actually. In that case, force of the field is mandatory. Mm, these mismarls are pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of army to these mismarls. Anyway, getting past the border here is gonna be pretty amazing. Naturally, the Scullies are, con are a concern. Not for long, though. Okay, uh, we made it past the border. And I think we'll be able to strike before the undead are ready. Mm -hmm. That's usually the best way to deal with these kind of missions, naturally. Uh, slowing down would be bring them down to four. Four is not good enough, so four shield is better. Oh, I bet they reached out. Uh, okay, that's a lot of Pegasus I lost. Way more than I would have liked. Gems are truly outrageous. Yeah, Gems. yo, Valet. Gems are truly, 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 truly outrageous. Truly. Now, the town's gonna be like right here. Mm hmm. Uh, how many times in total? Two from the orange on the sides, and then two down the middle from red. Okay, so I'm gonna be vanquishing the, uh, this player first. Well, hopefully, that's the idea. Now, whether that idea will be successful or not, I guess we'll just have to see. Uh, Gem can, I mean, Jelly can recover some mana for now. Um, that will do. Uh, we're gonna have some town halls. Income is always gonna be useful, if you're a certain extent. Um, City Hall is also kinda cool. 
Why not Zerai? Oh, wait, I have Zerai. Um, that is also important. Oh, that's an excuse. That's as strong as yours, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm, yeah, go for it. Well, before I DM, it's all a girl over here. Wait, no, the point was to uh, pick up some of the army. Um, there we go. Oh, wait, all this gives me is like a dwelling? Really? Wow, a dendroid dwelling, no less. Amazing, how generous. Really? You came, like, you came up with that yourself? Wow. How can one be so generous? Alright. I expected nothing and I'm still disappointed. Okay. Um, also the CI is kinda of strong, huh? I bet he has like some sort of form of spellcasting, for sure. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's he's up to. He does have another town, so he's gonna be prone to retreating. Uh, that means I might wanna... Ooh, okay. But oh, that's an air shield, not an protection from air. Oops. I played under the wrong assumption. Okay, I think I have lethal now. Okay, lethal! Found it. Uh, then I can recover mana and gem, and then I can push the other side. Ah, uh, but for the other side, I'll need to fight another one of these guards that are pretty ridiculous. Alright, maybe I can, like, go, go down here. Let's see. I should be able to access the red side. It seems. Hmm, town over here, and a town over here from red. Yeah, let's innovate without any delay. I'll be able to change some armor with Jelly as well. That's gonna be like pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so here's the idea. Uh we push with gem. And then we like set up a chain for the army to come just in time. Oh wait, we can almost take it down. Uh we will we'll be able to take it before the opponents get any more army income here. Uh, but you're gonna be like a real big deal. I like it. Do the way for it to the garrison. It requires a lot of mana and time. And also for it. Hi! I'm gonna take the easy way out. There was another homestead over here. Do I want them? Nah, not really. Then the idea is that I will push the army over to my. over to my gem. Uh, we can also grab some marketplaces too. Huh. Mm. That's a good sign. I will most likely not afford this entire upgrade, by the way. I think I'm also missing one more marketplace, aren't I? I'm not. Ah, uh, that's four, okay. Then, by the point, we're just trading everything away. But did I pick up the arm from the main? Yeah, I picked up all of the... Uh, I mean, I picked up all of the... Uh, uh, elves, at the very least. I'll pick up some more of these, too. Then at the same time, I want to make sure that uh, my jelly is safe. And my arm is going to be pretty well put on the gem. Okay, that's amazing. We level again. Hmm. Hey, Pizai. 
Thanks for all the content. Uh, thank you too, Lick, Lick Simons. Uh, this should be a very simple fight. Uh, we go, we go. Hmm. So I could be trying to vanquish the orange player right now. I could be trying to vanquish the red player. Options. Uh, I think I'll go for the orange since I began with orange already and I beat like uh, their biggest army so far as well uh, There's only like pretty weak heroes that Jellu will be able to dispose of We are hopefully only one turn away from reaching their town already as well. Oh, yeah, we're no longer stable uh, Let's pick a stable so I think Jellu should pick it up next turn. Yeah, gonna be pretty good And that probably means that gem is gonna be not able to reach Hmm, kidding me. They gotta be able to like reinforce a little bit because of that. Wait, is anybody pressuring the main town back? Hmm, kind of, sort of. Anyway, right now the idea is to... Uh, pick up some more army, stable up. We'll go back to main and get more mana and also get more ourselves like a side, I guess. Main as well. Um, so I'm just looking pretty good. I'm gonna be defending this with like uh, whatever I can. Maybe it's set it all as well. Hey, DT Daniel. It's going pretty good. And now Jelda's gonna be able to be a pretty good assassin for all these uh, small heroes. Yeah, she's gonna be perfect. Amazing. I like that a lot. Almost got it all. Okay, so now I only need to delete the range hero. I mean, the orange heroes, and the CIA yeah, is done. Ah, uh, Alagar is gonna be. I mean, I would need to go past the garrison. Honestly, going past the garrison right now is not that big of a deal. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Anyhow, let's pick up the army and go for. Sai. I think Alagar is gonna be like the only remaining hero by that point. Hey, Rakani. A gem without track for this, kind of such. Okay, so orange is all the domina. Okay! Uh, there's a Vodomina out there. By the way, the strongest army from red is also looking kind of scary. Oh, the Vodomina's over here, actually. Okay, I can do that. I can handle that. Is there any more heroes in... What? Is there any more heroes here? No, the Alagar's the only one. If I defend against him, I'll be fine. Uh, where's the red heroes on? They're down the Ryan. Okay. Sure. I mean, we can push to the left, uh, explore, and we shouldn't be too heavily punished by anything, really. I could also, like, take more this mission, and I probably have, like, dimension doors for the next one, possibly. But I don't think I want to go like that. If we find dimension doors eventually, then so be it. If not, then we'll then not. I don't really want to go like for permissats, uh, for permissat, petty collecting, or anything like that. Just not really interested. Uh, we're strong enough as we are. <laughs> you think y'all again here? Yeah. So now Alagar, yeah, Alagar is the strongest guy. So the way that I'll deal with Alagar is I will just DP over here and defend. Alishai. Wow. Ah, uh, pretty good hero, to, to be honest. Ooh, Utopia. Hmm. Sounds skelly. Okay, so if I beat this fight, I probably just win already. 
And I may as well fly before they have like the new spells, right? Hmm. Hey, ten man. Ah, uh, thank you. How uh, feeling well today? Ah, uh, yep. Feeling pretty well. Six oh six. Six oh what? Jesus. Pretty brutal. Yeah, pretty brutal amount. Uh, fireball. Okay, that's not a good cast from Dan. That's a really good sign already. Okay, so deal with the shooters and the fast guys first. Then take it from there. Oh, the, these guys are immune to blind. Okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but damn, bro. Ah, what he, did he cast? Fireball again, right? Hmm. Anime. Hmm. Anime is pretty good. Didn't get to uh, resurrect too much, but that's okay. I don't think they have like anything left apart from this, so. Uh, this should be a pretty easy end by this point. Though, but I'm gonna know what the anime is. Probably gonna be back. Hopefully, we, hopefully they will not be able to like get them any more army on top of them. Oh, this was a unicorn lane. Anyway, dude, this is like a pretty pitiful campaign in terms of like the things provided to us. Uh, so we don't care too much. Aceland. Wait, glorious victory? What? What? Wait. No, but if I if this accept, I will not get the same result. Okay, I'll just accept that. Laval. <laughs> oh, wait, you attacked me with uh, nothing, and I actually had, like, kind of an army. But that's a big Nagash. That's kind of scary. Hmm. <gasps> okay, fine. Dude, getting this time taken by the orange would have been so annoying. Anyway, that's orange vanquished. And not too long after. Wait, really? This mission is gated behind this? So I just have to chill doing nothing for like a little while? Alright. Uh, yeah. Apparently we just can't end the mission. Is that simple? Dude, that's frustrating. What? Are you serious? I just need to get like a bunch of dwarves, honestly, and even dwarves would be good enough to do the fine. Just like, yeah, pretty annoying. Now we can like get some more income, so that way I can get maybe some mage kills built. I don't know. Uh, we should probably make use of this time that we ended up acquiring. Maybe collect the permistas. Yeah, I'll just do whatever I can. I think there was a garden. I visited this. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the wind of the owl for now. Okay, this guy just defends on the town, this guy retreats. What? Hmm. Anyway, the moment that he comes close, I'll just kill him. Until then I'm gonna be stock collecting. So, um, Primus are kind of nice. And then we have to enforce this down for sure. Uh, pretty well and pretty securely. Then I definitely want Gem to go over and collect my Sulfur so I can build more Mage Guilds. Hi. Can't make fast, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a Utopia. I mean, Dasha would have been able to do a Utopia, but this year will definitely not do a Utopia. Uh, where do you think the um, best spells will be? I mean, I'm only interested in tier 5 spells, though. Nothing else. Yeah, nothing else actually matters. 
I don't know what the mines do. Jelly, my scouts encountered some European irregulars today. Um, they were part of a militia unit from, from the town Clover Green. They knew Jem. They also passed interesting news. Two barbarians named Krakak and Yag are invading Deja from Arapia. I should Jem about this and send word to Arapia and High Command. I should Jem about this. Yeah, I should I should Jem about this. That seems like a really good idea. Nothing like Jem about information that that I just heard. Capital. It's not very good though. Uh, okay, so what stars the gem not pick up yet? I'm gonna pick up the garden. Day seven stables, buck champ. I mean, we're getting like a thermostat per day. It's not bad. By the way, this, this is Aishra running about again. Um, that ain't good. It's not that bad either, though, so whatever. Can I do it after next turn? I wonder. I mean, that's a pretty big border, though. Damn. Like, two hordes of ghost troops. Like, what? Two hordes? Like, bro, really? Also, they're, like, being really obnoxious all around. What am I missing from Mage 4? Nothing, right? I don't know if I had visions. I think so. The real question, did you did you gem today? Of course, I gem every day, bro. What kind of question is that? Okay, I cannot reach him, so instead what I'll do is I will... Go into Greenfall, stable up. Yeah, stabling up is gonna be kind of fine. Oh wait, I... I mean, it's only like a little bit of army. Being gay about those ghost dragons is like really frustrating though. It's not the end. What's my mind count? Uh, two, four, two, two... Oh yeah, okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I have the ones over here. I have the ones over here. Now, there's a lot in this region that I could and probably should still collect. But that will come in time. Actually, next time already I will be uh, picking up my first Mage 5. Hopefully, pick wait, if I were to get Dimension Lore, I would still not be able to skip this. Wait, but, but Fly would probably let me skip this, no? I don't know. Shadow of Duck works in weird ways sometimes. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get Gem. I mean, yeah, let's get Jelly to collect the army. Why hate capitals? Cause, I mean, I don't hate capitals, but I don't care for one right now. Okay, I'm gonna be dueling Aishra right now. Implosion! That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. One hundred one dwarves. Even with respam, that might be close to taking on the ghost dragons. Honestly, I really don't want her to retreat though, but I'm pretty sure she will. Yeah, she gonna like just fade away, cast me. So um, I'm gonna try to do. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Mm hmm. Is there any permissives that I'm missing? Uh, yeah. I may as well. Uh, knowledge is better. Well, maybe power by this one is like pretty good too. Yeah, because I have intelligence too. Intelligence plus power. It seems like kind of a nice choice. 
Oh, there's a mine over there. <laughs> okay, I don't want Jelly to like randomly die. So I'll make sure to avoid random spontaneous deaths. I have to choose whether I'm gonna be brave enough to take the item this week. No, I may as well build up another one or two mage girls anyway. Shackles, I mean, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be continuing dispatching all these heroes so they don't build up any sort of army. Maybe I will do the Utopia. Some castle size especially would be uh, pretty premium to get right now. Uh, did Jello get this? Yes, he did. Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah, there was the black market. Huh. Oh, sword on the shield is most definitely helpful. Squirming about. Gem, today I received word from Jelly about a pair of barbarians attacking Deja from the contested lands. To my surprise, an hour later, of my elven scouts is co uh An hour later, some of my elven scouts escorted in some orc spies with a message for me. Uh, it was from a blue barbarian named uh, barbarian hero named Yag. Hmm, I met him once in Enroth. He's with another barbarian named Kragak. I've heard of Krag too. Yogg and Kraghack are upset with the ne necromancers, and Sandra especially. What? Krag collected the artifacts for Sandra, which did combine into a powerful artifact. Efric was right! Wait, oops, I skipped one. Ah! Uh huh. I think we're meeting them. It's fine. We'll meet them anyway. Imagine if this were where my journey ends. In some random utopia. Oh, it's not a boom in Shadow of the Sage. I'm disappointed. No morals. Lol, these dragons have no morals. They're just killing each other. Um, that's kind of okay. Mm, I don't care. I do see the permastat, but also don't care. I have a, yeah, we have like a really good gem. I think that's gonna be good enough to go ahead and clear the... No, 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 let's go for like at least another mage kill. Let's build one in the main town. Uh, we have a lot of training capacity too. Uh, I see some more from the as well. I'm grabbing Shackle. Yeah, I don't really care about Shackle. Like, so what if some of these heroes retreat? That doesn't, like, bother me that much. I'm gonna be training up the every single level of the mage guild along the way at this point. I don't really need gold for anything anyway, so. Wait, they're just chilling. Wait, they're all just chilling. What the hell? <laughs> Wait! They're actually just chilling. What the hell? That was your last turn. Okay, we chill mode.
Uh, anything decent? Not really. Lol, they're just not playing the game. That is very interesting. Hmm. Temple again. Uh, make sure that my gem, my, yeah, the jelly lay some parts here. Anyway, I'm just collecting more army on the next turn, but I'm going. Well, if that's the case, then I may as well go already and just fetch the army next turn. Seems good. Bruh. Why? So rude. Oh my god, they're all just running away from Gem. <laughs> that's kind of comical. I mean, it makes sense. I don't blame them, but... <laughs> Love now. Okay. That's gotta be good enough. And on to Black Quarter. No longer am, am able to TP anyway. Oh, okay. Then I'll have to make sure that I dispatch everyone and everyone around here. Uh, Moinder being the first one. Ooh. Doesn't reach, right? Yeah, doesn't reach. Bang. Oh my god. Uh, the in front would like loss of army. I'm Uh, Twitch told me to let you know I've been sub for five months. Hell yeah, thank you. Then, yeah, we can do the big air, son. Holy moly, the eye kills literally nothing. Really? I could actually wait for this all the way. Yeah, let's not actually try and wait for this. Well, then again, I'll have to deal with the pilot just too. Uh, I need to be priority for wayfaring. Uh, these guys... No. Hmm... So here's the worst part. The next shot doesn't one-shot the ball. Let's just end up the last little still a sign. That means the ghost dragons will get in. That means I have to move. But if I move, then it's also like kind of bad. Uh, maybe they will not kill. Okay, they didn't kill. Let's find them. Hmm. I have to keep up speed superiority. And then I have to kill the um the one hex stack. I don't have any more to rest, do I? I mean, I have some other things to rest. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be resting much, though. Ah, uh, this is fine. I do have enough shots. Suddenly, a challenge map. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, they want me to deal with 100 ghosters? <laughs> yeah, right. Then I may as well rest some Papashka. There we go. And that will do. Okay, that's a uh, pretty thick ice run. Not exactly a problem. Some of their spellcasting is like just frustrating. Congratulations! You captured uh Kryptholm and you are victorious.
I didn't even realize I, I thought this was something. Yeah, I, I do remember reading this, but uh, I got into the vibes of this being, uh, clear all, but I guess not. Here we go. We have her phone. Hell yeah. So we are both, we are invading Deja from both the north and the south. Gem and Jelly and uh, Crag and uh, Gem successful. I mean, Jelly and Gem. Captured. How the fuck did Otto lose that find? Well, all the sharpshooters got covered early on, and then, yeah, there's not much that the AI can do by that point. Uh, so yeah. Wait. Sandra wins? Huh. Uh. Wait, I play a Sandro? Oh my Okay, I thought I I thought we're converging and then we have the Okay. Okay, that's I didn't remember this at all. Wow. With 